Okay, so next day, and uh, man like Ben McLean here is taking me to the train station right now. He has to go to Selfridges on the, I guess that's like the Paddington stop, right? Uh, uh, it's one, one after. Uh, tomato, tomato. That was confusing. So we're gonna separate uh, on the train, but um, yeah, man. It's just kind of surreal right now that I'm in London. And we are on uh, Carnaby, Carnaby? I don't really know, but my man's Ari is over there. Do some it's investigative the research. I've ever been up. Sorry to interrupt. It's the earliest you've ever been up. You can, well, out of my house. I actually woke up kind of late today. I woke since, up at 7:15. Right, since I used to like camp out and line up. But it's this gonna is be a vibe. vibe. I love it. It's gonna be a vibe. The smell of the morning air, and he's right. It's gonna be a vibe. Or at least, hopefully, if you guys do some investigative research on my Instagram and on his Instagram. I will leave my Instagram somewhere on the screen. Of course, I'll leave his Instagram in the description. Right, matter of fact, I'll put his Instagram. I'll, I'll, I'll flash his Instagram right now, real quick. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying? And then both of the Instagrams will be down in the description below. But if you guys go follow those and do some investigative research, try to figure out why we are up early. It's not just Supreme. Boy, it is Supreme, but it's like it's not just because of Supreme drop. Figure it out and let me know in the comments below. If you know, you know. Anyways, so um, yeah, we are headed to go do that right now, and uh, let's get into it. I'm excited. This is my first Supreme job in London. London things, in it? So the Supreme drop is basically over, it's 5 p.m. This lady's looking at me like I'm a freaking crazy person. Uh, I'm currently with my homegirl Fuzz right here, you know what I'm saying? She is a great tour guide, you know what I'm saying? She actually got me a coffee and I was like offering to pay, but then she's like, no, no, I got you. And I was like, <laughs> she's just trying to she's just trying to woo me, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to win me over right now, no big deal. Don't embarrass me. You know, but it's, it's all good, you know? 
you guys can let me know if she's future wife material. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, yeah, we are just currently uh, exploring. She's showing me around London. And uh, let's get to some B-roll footage and then head back to Supreme and meet up with Ari and Benjamin and uh, Callum and last dude's name. Mi Mi was it Milan? Milan. Milan. There we go. <laughs> Milan. Yeah, that's my boy, man. That guy's funny as fuck. Second day at Supreme. We did not get much. My man over here, you know what I'm saying, he got, he got some uh, CDG. But other than that, you know, I got the little... Uh, statue model thing i got two more at home i got a couple bags my boy here got me a bag got me a bag didn't give me a bag hey man shout out to my fellow american right here he lives in london now you know but Big from jerk, new york yeah, yeah, yeah. Big you know love, shout out to my bro love, man. yeah yeah much love g we have one other person inside the store that's getting me a bag you know come to london to stock up on bags you know <laughs> so then i can go home and get where's some your bags. white jacket huh where's the white jacket that's at home you bought a red one as well. You bought a red one. I have every color, but I don't have full sets. So I have red jacket, white jacket, blue pants. The blue pants are oh, so sick. Fire. And look at the look at the look at the fit. All red, baby. Red, red. Hey, 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 full season boy. Yeah. 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 You know, some guy hit me up on his Snapchat saying, um, "What's Jake and Star doing in London?" And I was like, "Oh, I come to visit London." Isn't it? Hey. And, his boys. and then, and then he's like, "Oh, he's friends with one of my homies, isn't it?" She was one of our homies from Tech Tech or something like that. Anyways guys, so uh, right now we're about to go shoot, about to go eat. I might link up with Sanj and Magnus as well. So we'll see where the day takes. I don't know, but right now I'm tired as fuck. Alright guys, so we left the area, the fire brigade was called, so I, was, I apologize for the quick, abrupt ending. I was hoping to get some more video footage, however, I am with the boys, Steel Wagwan and Ed. It is Friday after the Supreme drop, I kind of just ignored a whole night. I was going to try to post the video of week three in LA's drop, however, you guys didn't hit, you know what I'm saying, you guys didn't hit the goal, so I didn't post it. And I hate when people are like, oh, if they get this many likes, blah, 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 then I'll post it and then they still do it anyways, no matter what, that shit's whack to me. So, nah. I did, of course, post it later, but, you know, not on the day that I said I would. Anyways, I don't, oh, shit. I was gonna hit by a car. Are we going, Okay, we're going. All right. Anyways. You know what I'm saying? Big fucking drip, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Big drip, no liquor spill. Anyways, I got someone to go meet, so I'll see. Oh, wait, wait. You guys will see them right The man, the myth, the legend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yo, so guys, I actually forgot to record. I was at dinner with uh, this young man right here and Magnus. You know, the two two of the legends from YouTube. And the guy didn't even record the, the conversations that was had. Dude. Jacob, you need to step it up, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm really <laughs> fucking up, honestly, because they were some good conversations. But yeah, man, it was a good lunch. I'm glad I got to finally meet some of my London brothers, you know? And then for the rest of this video, we gotta get to a freaking unboxing. What up, YouTube? Welcome to Star Life. We are back with yet another pickup video. Okay, guys, so um, we went to the London drop. We acquired quite a few things. Sorry if this is shaky at all. You're currently on a table. But anyways, we acquired some items. We actually didn't get that much hype stuff, but we got a couple of the pieces to show you guys today. One of my favorite pieces from this drop, I'm just gonna pull it out as I talk about it. First, I want to apologize for any noise infiltration that may be happening because I am outside in Mother Nature. I'm actually at my dear friend Ben McLean's house. Ben, can you say what's up to the people? Wagwan still. Wagwan still, and that, anyways, um, <laughs> my accent is terrible, but uh, like low key, I'm adopting all this like London You slang. say, hello mate, how are you? Hello mate, how are you? I feel like such a poser. Anyways, so um, yeah, let's get into some of these pieces. First up from this drop, from the CDG week four drop, 
I acquired this beanie right here. You got the little, uh, I forget the patch beanie or whatever, I don't know the technical name, but as you guys can see, it's kind of a play on the DuPont logo, which is a sick logo, it's a logo that I like. I like a lot of the DuPont racing gear anyway, so of course I had to cop this. I have so many black beanies and I just felt like this beanie looks sick in this kind of like brown, natural rust colorway. Next up, we got this jacket right here. This is the CDG graffiti jacket. I honestly think that these were somewhat slept on. This piece to me is so sick. If you look right here, you can see the Comme des Garçons uh, shirt right there, Supreme. I always use the little play logo. This time I was surprised no one called me out for it because last time people were like trying to crucify me. And it's like, I just use that logo because one, it's super noticeable, it's red, it pops, and more people click on the video, just so you know. Yeah, I'm aware that it's not CDG play, it's CDG shirt, uh, Supreme. And I just thought this collab was sick. However, I did not cop the pants in this colorway. Fun fact, I got all three colors, but no full set. So I got the red jacket. I got the white jacket, which I'm not gonna take out of the bag because low key, if I do take this out of the bag, it's gonna be dirty instantly. But I think the white one is one of my favorite pieces or one of my favorite colorways. And then for the pants, the pants, I feel like the black ones and the white ones are a little bit too loud and I already have so many like pants that are so out there. And on top of that, when it comes to black and red, they're dropping the Thorns pant later this season that of course I need in my collection. So to diversify, I actually acquired the blue pants and I just think these ones are way sicker. It's kind of like a cool little work pant. I thought that was a towel. You when you, when you open that up, I thought that was a towel. Oh yeah, you are smoking crack rocks. Um, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, this thing is just super sick. You got this little patch right here, kind of like the other work pants. Um, yeah, man, I think these are sick. As you guys can see, I got all three colors, but no full sets. So you will not see any full sets in these pieces, but you will see me styling and profiling in these. Now, another thing that I acquired was uh, this right here. Now, as you guys know, I got two of the red ones, but I just felt like the red one was a little bit loud, a little bit. Dude, the UK Air Force is freaking infiltrating my audio right now. You guys still might hear the plane somewhat faintly in the background, but we got some bags. We got three black shoulder black. <laughs> what? <laughs> shoulder blags, uh, shoulder bags, and then one red one. I'm gonna try to get some more as well, depending on if they have more in store. I actually had two red ones, but then I've been having people buy them for me, so now I owe like three or four people out here money. And Milan, uh, I owed Milan 60, so I just gave him the red shoulder bag for retail. But yeah, it's 60 pounds, which it's a little bit more, a lot of the stuff in the UK, for those of you guys that don't know, is a little bit more expensive than the US because of the conversion rates. For the bag, it's only like $4, but a lot of the items, it's like 20 or $30 more, which is actually absurd. Now, the piece that a lot of people want to know about, this piece goes crazy. So, um, a lot of people were kind of surprised that I like this. Some individual even tried calling me out on Twitter and was like, yo, like you don't like BOGOs, but you like that one, even though you like embroidery and it's screen printed. Let's establish something. I don't like the fact that it's screen printed. The T, I don't mind that it's screen printed because all the T box look are screen printed, but I did say in my preview video that I wish the hoodie was embroidered. I think that was a cop out. Now, why do I like this box logo? I think it's cool because it's something that Supreme would not normally do. Just kind of like I said on the last CDG box logo that happened with the crumpled up box logo, although it's screen printed, it's something that Supreme would not normally do to their logo. It's just a flip or it's just a way to play off their logo and it's not something that you will ever see again. Those are reasons as to why I like a lot of the Supreme CDG collaborations and a lot of their box logos. I'm still not the biggest fan of box logos, like for example, the Crewnex coming out this season. I think they're weak. I know a lot of people are hyped on them. I just could really care less except for that natural colorway or creme de la creme. The blues are gonna be nice, tell you that. Yeah, don't care about that one at all. I will say last season's box logos I kind of like because they were different colors and those are colors you don't see, but there are a lot of box logos that I just don't care for and the majority of box logos, I just think they're overhyped. And I'll say even still, the ones that I do like, this one included, are still overhyped. Anyway, so as you can see, um, right here you have this cut and sew tee. You have the box logo right here. It's obviously cut in half, so the actual material. Uh, I don't know if they screen print it and then sew it together or if they screen print each one. I'm kind of curious as to their uh, method when they're making this piece, but I just think it's kind of cool. And I will say one thing that I agree with, I saw a comment that said it looks cooler in pictures than it does actually on body or like with application. And I agree with that entirely. I think that it definitely looks cooler in photos than it does on body. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens to the price. I think overall the price will go up, but I don't know, it's still already, it's like it's already way too expensive for a freaking t-shirt or a hoodie. Then you look at the bottom right here, you have like yet another little cut and sew panel. 
that goes across, and then it says Comme des Garçons shirt, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. I don't know if I am. I don't really care, to be honest, but anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I like this piece. Now, uh, for those of you guys that don't follow me on Instagram, you guys may not be aware, but I actually took a photo of this and posted it at 10.59. Don't ask how I did it. I don't know how I did it. Just know that uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're sleeping. Anyways, like I was saying, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then uh, you're sleeping, you need to change your life and go follow me because honestly, my Instagram is fire, the best in the game. Make sure you go follow me, it's on the screen and in the description below. I posted two photos of this same day. Both of them hit over 20K, so thank you guys so much for uh, showing love. Thank you to everyone that shows love on the Instagram. I'm actually about to leave right now. Well, at the time I post this video, the picture will already be posted, but I'm gonna go take a picture in this again so make sure you go follow me and go like my most recent pictorial so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart make sure you smash that like button down below and as always keep living the star life